Hey everyone, my name is Sam and I want you to listen up because today we're going to teach you something that could save a person's life. We're about to unlock a real life superpower, the ability to restart a heart. Check out this statistic, over 80% of out of hospital cardiac arrests happen at home. That means it could be your family, your friends and the people you see every day who might need your help. But here's the thing, nearly half of us in the UK wouldn't know what to do in that critical moment. Imagine being there and feeling completely helpless. We don't want that. We want you to feel confident, ready and empowered to step up. Now, before we dive into the practical stuff, I want you to hear from someone who's experienced this firsthand. This is why what we're about to learn really matters. Hi. My name is Alex. Um, I had a cardiac arrest whilst doing PE at school um, when my heart stopped beating. Um, I was 15 years old. I was a fit and healthy kid, always playing sport and had no prior warning. I was in my PE lesson in the school gym when I began to feel dizzy and I dropped to my knees. The next thing I remember, uh, I woke up in the hospital. Uh, luckily for me, my teachers and the school nurse were quick to respond. One started chest compressions and rescue breaths. Another went to get the defibrillator. They used that to shock me and luckily my body responded. I encourage anyone to take the time to learn how to perform CPR. Uh, you could help save someone like me. So you can see just how important this is. Now, I've got Tristan here with me and he's a real life paramedic. He's gonna teach me and all of you exactly what to do. So Tristan, first things first, what exactly is a cardiac arrest? Let me explain. A cardiac arrest is when a person's heart suddenly stops beating and their breathing becomes abnormal or stops completely. Without quick action, that person will die. The key to survival is early CPR and getting hold of a defibrillator as quickly as possible. Okay, so let's start with CPR. This means cardiopulmonary resuscitation. CPR more than doubles a person's chance of surviving a cardiac arrest. It uses chest compressions and rescue breaths to keep blood circulating around the body. Now, if you are not trained or prefer not to give rescue breaths, that's okay. Hands-only CPR is still an effective alternative. CPR won't restart the heart on its own, but it buys time for the emergency services to arrive. To actually restart a heart, we need an automated external defibrillator, also known as an AED. This machine delivers a controlled electrical shock to the heart, basically resetting its electrical system to get a normal rhythm going again. Now, timing is absolutely crucial here. Every minute that passes without action reduces the chance of survival. Right now, the survival rate is far too low. Less than one in 10 people survive a cardiac arrest outside of a hospital. And that's why the Restart a Heart campaign exists, to give you the skills and confidence to step up when it matters most. I'm now gonna show you exactly what to do if you come across a person in cardiac arrest. We will work through the steps like levels in a game with clear missions to help you master this life-saving skill. You ready, Sam? Go on then, let's give it a go. Your mission starts with level one, check for danger. Before you rush in to help, Take a moment to look around and check for hazards such as traffic, slippery surfaces, deep water, or live electrical wires. Remember, if you get injured, you can't help anyone. If it's not safe, do not go near. Call 999 straight away for an ambulance, police, fire service, or Coast Guard if needed. When you know it is safe, approach and kneel next to the person. Now for level two, check for a response. Is the person alert? Are their eyes open? If not, gently shake them by the shoulders and ask loudly if they can hear you. Hi, my name's Sam, can you hear me? If the person is not responding, move on to level three, shout for help. The more people available to deal with this serious medical emergency, the better. Is anyone able to help please? Is anyone able to help? Next is level four, check for normal breathing. First, ensure the person is lying flat on their back. You may need to move them onto a hard surface with nothing under their head. Then, check the person's airway is clear of obstructions by looking into their mouth. If the airway is clear, place one hand on their forehead, two fingers under the chin, and gently tilt and lift their head back. If everything is clear, look, listen, and feel for normal breathing for up to 10 seconds. Watch for the chest rising and falling. 
If the person has stopped breathing or is not breathing normally, such as taking irregular gasps, this is your biggest clue that they're in cardiac arrest. Next is level five, call 999. Ask for an ambulance, tell them you're with a person who isn't breathing normally and let them know where you are. Hi, I need an ambulance please. I'm with someone who's not breathing. Put your phone on loudspeaker and place it near to you so you can start CPR while staying on the phone with a call handler who will talk you through what to do next. They will also tell you if there's a defibrillator nearby. Ask your helper to fetch it for you. If you're on your own, don't leave the person. It's more important that you stay and start CPR. Excuse me, are you okay to go get the defibrillator, please? Level six, it's time to start CPR. While kneeling next to the person, place one hand on top of the other, interlock your fingers, place the heel of your lowest hand in the center of the chest, keep your arms straight, lean over the person and push down hard. This should be to a depth of five to six centimeters, then release. Do this twice a second and don't stop. Ready, Sam? Go. There are a number of songs you can use to remember this rate, including Staying Alive, Baby Shark, or the backing track of this video. As you can see, blood is pumping and reaching the vital organs, and most importantly, the brain. You're doing a great job, Sam, keep going. Keep doing CPR until professional help arrives, the person starts showing signs of life and starts to breathe normally, or when a defibrillator arrives and is ready to use. CPR compressions can be hard work, so if you're too exhausted to continue and there's a helper with you, you can quickly change over every two minutes. But remember, rate, depth, and don't stop. Here is your bonus mission. Your helper has returned with the defibrillator to use. As you continue CPR, the helper will switch it on and follow the instructions. Call emergency medical services now. Follow the voice prompt calmly. Remove all clothing from chest and stomach. Rip clothing if necessary. Take out the pads from the bottom of the device. Tear open the pads packaging. Look closely at the picture on each pad. Peel off the pad labeled one and stick to the bare skin of the patient exactly as shown in the picture. Peel off the pad labelled 2 and stick to the bare skin of the patient, exactly as shown in the picture. Press the pads firmly to the bare skin of the patient. Do not touch the patient. Analyzing heart rhythm. Shock advised. Stand clear. Press the flashing orange button now. Deliver shock now. Shock delivered. Begin CPR now. Press the flashing blue eye button for CPR voice prompt. First. Continue CPR until the defibrillator is ready to analyze again. If the person shows signs of life and starts to breathe normally, stop CPR and leave the defibrillator attached. Continue to monitor their level of response and prepare to give CPR again if necessary. And that's it. You now know how to do CPR. Let's have a quick recap of what we've learned. If you find a person who's collapsed, start your mission. Level one, check for danger. Level two, check for a response with your voice and by gently shaking the person by the shoulders. Level three, shout for help. Level four, check for breathing. Check the airway, then look, listen, and feel for normal breathing for up to 10 seconds. Level five, call 999 and send someone for a defibrillator. Level six, start CPR, place one hand on top of the other and interlock your fingers. Put the heel of your lower hand in the center of their chest, straighten your arms, lean over and push down hard to a depth of five to six centimeters. Do this twice a second and don't stop. Keep doing chest compressions until professional help arrives, the person starts breathing normally or when a defibrillator arrives and is ready to use. You've just learned something incredible. You now have the knowledge to potentially save a person's life. That's not something to take lightly. 
Make sure you share these skills with your friends and family too. You can find this video and loads more training resources using these QR codes. They'll help you practice your skills and teach others as well. This could be your moment to make a real difference and be someone's hero. Remember, you've got this. Let's go save some lives. Hey guys, it's Harry Newman here from the Leeds Rhinos. I know the importance of being able to perform CPR. Learn how it's going to save lives. My CPR training made a difference and enabled me to save my husband's life. Being able to respond quickly under pressure is key. Make sure you learn CPR. I saved my first life when I was 17. Learn CPR today so you can save a life too. CPR is a simple skill that can have a huge impact on others. CPR helps us all fight to save a life. I'm here today because my wife used CPR. CPR is really important. You might even save a life. Someone like you saved my life. Someone who learned CPR at school. Anyone can learn CPR. It's an easy skill which keeps the brain alive until we arrive. If you can make a change, why don't you learn CPR? An amazing skill that could save somebody's life. Every time we arrive and someone's already started CPR, that person has a much better chance of survival. You can make a real difference. You've got the chance to save somebody's life when you find yourself in a particular medical emergency. Knowing how to do CPR could be all important. Learn CPR. Get involved. Learn CPR. Learn CPR. Learn CPR. Learn CPR. Learn CPR. Learn CPR.